Got him. He weighs down his throat. What's going on everyone? So I'm actually filming this intro at the end of the day because I really didn't know what kind of day I was gonna have. It was a really overcast and like windy morning. Didn't have any plans, so I just kind of went out and started fishing and it ended up being a pretty amazing day out there. I know one spot that I haven't fished in probably like a year. It's probably been a while. So I decided to go there and just try it out because I was running out of options. And once I got there, it was on fire. So I'll go ahead and jump to that and show you what happened. All right, new spot here. Let's start with the, the mirror lure. It's a little bit deeper here, it's about three feet. And you got a little uh, potholes and stuff, but it's mostly grass. All right, I'm going back to the DOA cow right here. This is the Arkansas glow color. It's just like a nice dark back, kind of light gray bottom. And I'm pretty sure it glows in the dark, which is kind of cool, but I just like the actual color of it. Cause this water is a little stained, but I wouldn't say stained enough to be using the root beer. So I think this should be a good, like middle ground natural color to be thrown in this kind of clarity of water. There we go. First cast with it. First cast with it. Decent trout. Not a bad way to start. Yeah, that's a nice trout actually. Like 17, 18 inches probably. Here we go. Solid little trout right there. First cast with this color, uh, DOA cow. Beautiful little fish. We'll get the release on him now. Here he goes. Can't believe that was first cast. I was like second or third pot too. Another one. Another one right there. Another good one. That was second cast. Oh, we might have found the spot now. Another like 16, yeah, about the same size, 15, 16 inch trout. That thing is down his throat. He clobbered it. Come here, dude. These, these are fat, healthy trout right here. Got him. There we go. Another beautiful fish right there. Can we catch three fish in a row? Here goes cast number three right here. It's, they've been in the same spot. Those two came in the exact same spot. Three in a row, baby. Another one. Like these are all solid fish. I'm just bouncing it off the bottom like through the grass and you just feel the thump. They're not monsters, but hey, I'll take this right now. Always make sure to wet your hand before you grab a speckled trout. You want to protect their uh, their slime. Their slime's really important for like uh, protection from diseases and even predators and everything. Yeah. A little bit smaller one actually, probably 15, 16. All right, see you dude. <laughs> he swam backwards, so I don't even know if I got it on underwater. Here we go, cast number four. We could only go three in a row. I guess I'll take it. I mean, that's what we're known for around here. This time of year inshore is our trout fishing. We get a lot of trout that move in right off the grass, like up shallow once the water temperature drops. I'm gonna lift the power pole up and just kind of scoot a little bit closer to this island. So I talked about my rig a little bit. This is the Arkansas Glow Color uh, DOA Cal. I have a 1 8 ounce jig head. And now I'm using, I think this is 30 pound 
uh, floral leader about I would say a foot and a half section of that and I'm using my Penn Battle 4000 on my St. Croix Mojo Inshore 7.6 medium power rod on here I think I have 20 pound braid and it's working perfectly right now it might be a little bit overkill for these fish but it's what I had rigged so it's working for me scoot it a little bit closer to the island see if it gets us some new ground to cover some more fish to get this bait in front of there we go first cast after I moved a little bit another one about the same size in that like 15 to like 18 inch range yeah these are all like super like thick trout like they have shoulders on them here we go get that hook out of you buddy there you go yeah another decent fish right there look at this the sun's trying to come out of the clouds it's gonna warm it up a little bit. It's been in like the low 50s all morning. So you can kind of see it's super shallow right there and kind of loops around. I'm in just this like deeper pocket right here. Apparently, I, oh, there we go. Oh, that's a nice one. I wasn't even moving it. I was trying to talk to you guys. I think that might be the best one at this spot so far. Dude, look at the shoulders on these fish here. These are beautiful trout. You can't even see the cow. It's just down his throat. Yeah, this is like an 18 inch fish right here. Yeah, that's a nice one. Uh, look at this. It's just absolutely down his throat. These fish are loving it right now. There we go, just posted on my Instagram story. If you guys don't follow me already, you should. I post a lot of stuff on there, so at Brent Shermer if you guys wanna follow. There we go. Another one, this is so crazy. They're in this little deep pocket right here. Another good trout. Again. DOA is gone. That thing is in his stomach already. Come here. There we go. DOA's down his throat again. All right, let go of the tail. Let go of the tail, buddy. Hey, I know you liked it, but come on. It's my good luck lure. I haven't had to change it out yet. There we go. Another one. See you, dude. This is so much fun. I might go ahead and tie up a DOA on the on the 3000 just to make it a little more fun. There we go. Another one. There's so many fish stacked in here right now. Yeah, this is a better one right here. This one, like, look at, let me try and show you guys the shoulders on these trout. These are some of the, like, the thickest trout I've ever seen. Like, look how thick that trout is right there. That's probably like a 17 inch trout. And he's got like, like a two inch, like wide shoulders on him right there. That is so cool. See you, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my 3000. Put the exact same lure on my 3000 uh, pen class right here and a medium light power St. Croix rod. So it's a little more, a little more fun for these fish. There we go. <laughs> ah, this is so much fun. Yeah, it's, this one's like 15, 15, 16. But even for these little guys, they are thick. Like these are all super healthy trout. All right, see you little dude. I want to get one that's like 
a beast. I want to get one over 20. Usually when you find fish schooled up like this, they're all going to be roughly about the same size. And that's kind of like what it's showing today. All these fish have come off this one DOA cow. Like it hasn't ripped. It's getting a little torn up right there. But I've caught all these fish on the same one. And I know I've kind of dissed DOA cows for their uh, durability, but this one's really holding up right now. Let's try them right in front. I'm casting a lot to the, to the left. Got him. Oh, that might be a better one. Yeah, it's looking like a better trout. Like I said, I was casting a lot to the left, so I'm like, oh, let me cast right. Oh yeah, this is a better one. That's a good trout right there. He, he might be my 20. That might be my 20 I was looking for. Come here, dude. Again, inhaled it. This guy's going crazy. Come on. Come on. That is a solid fish right there. Look how far down the throat that lure is. That is insane. That is a nice fish. Ah, he's right at 19. Still a solid trout. Look how thick and healthy this fish is. Like the back and like shoulders on this fish are insane. There we go. Such a healthy looking fish. That is beautiful. See ya, dude. This is quickly turning into one of the best days of trout fishing I've ever had. I didn't even jig it. I didn't even have time to move it. I literally casted it and he hit it as it was falling. How many fish are here? This is insane. These are all like super healthy, nice trout. All right, see you, dude. He was ready to go. There we go. Another super healthy looking trout. There he is. Another super healthy trout right here. Probably 16, 17 inches. This has to be one of the craziest days of trout fishing I've ever had. It's literally like every cast I'm getting hit right now. It's so sick. This is how it should be. See, dude, <laughs> he was flopping. This one DOA cow has held up through all of these fish. I think that's the most impressive thing so far today. That's a good one. Another nice one. This is so sick. <laughs> Guess what? That cow is gone. All of these fish have been annihilating these baits. That's another healthy trout right there. Down his throat. Another 19, 19 inch trout right there. I'm just amazed at how aggressively these trout are eating. There's another one. Like all of these trout, when I'm reeling them in, the cows are like down their throats already. Let's check out this guy. Yep, completely in his mouth. See you, dude. There we go. And guess what? It's down his throat again. There we go. That's so sick. See you, dude. Got hammered there. <laughs> Absolutely hammered. That's a little bit better one. Yeah, that one's like 18 probably. Come here, dude. If these guys were hooked like on the side of their mouth, I could just like 
use the pliers and get it out, but each one of these is just swallowing them, so I have to like do a little do a little work to get them unhooked. There we go. Solid fish again. There we go. Just so freaking thick. Like these are some of the fattest trout I've ever seen. Like that is insane. These are such healthy fish over here. Beautiful. See you dude. Like I don't even know how I'm gonna do this video. I could make this video like a half hour long if I wanted to. This lure is just absolutely crushing them right now. Just finding this spot, the little deeper area on low tide. All the, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Like the fish really have nowhere else to go when there's not that much water. They go into these little deeper areas. It makes sense. I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. Another one. <laughs> Literally no idea what I'm at trout wise. Okay, why are you fighting so hard? This dude's bulldogging me. These fish are all super fat. They gotta be eating mullet or something up here. Stop. There we go. Look at that. That's just such a beautiful fish. There we go. Hooks out. Let me get a video on my phone of this dude. Put it on my Instagram. That was sick. So that's gonna do it for today. I'm really curious to see how many trout I ended up actually catching because I have no idea. I would say in the high teens, probably maybe 20. So really curious to go back and actually see how many I did catch. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That would really mean a lot to me. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.